The Undocumented Railway Series Book 2 Emily the Emerald Engine Dear friends, I'm sure that you are all aware of Emily the Emerald Engine, a character introduced in the TV series. While most tend to disregard the TV series, I am here to tell you that Emily is in fact an actual engine on Sodor, and a lot of her stories are real too. Despite this, the TV series did make a few changes here and there in order to make them better for screen. This book exists to give you more accurate events. I hope you enjoy getting to know Emily all over again. The Director Story 1 Thomas, Emily and the Coaches Based on Emily's New Coaches by Jen Page It was a splendid day on the island of Sodor. Thomas was heading back to the yards. A new engine had arrived and he wanted to say hello. The engine was beautiful, with shiny emerald green paint and a big gleaming brass safety valve. Chomish? Me Chemily, said the fat controller. Hello Emily, smiled Thomas. Hello to you. Chomish, please show Emily to the sheds, the fat controller boomed. Tomorrow Emily, you'll start taking passengers on the main line. Yes, sir, said the two engines, and they puffed away. You're a rather interesting design, commented Thomas. I've never seen an engine like you before. That's because I'm an old engine, chuckled Emily. I used to pull express trains from London to Edinburgh. When I was withdrawn, I was put away into storage. Now your fat controller has brought me to do mixed traffic work on the main line. Thomas was very impressed. The next morning, Emily headed to the yards to collect some coaches for her morning train. She backed down onto two small ones. These aren't your sorts of coaches, said her driver, but I suppose they'll do. The coaches in question were Annie and Clarabelle, who felt most offended. How dare he say we'll do, they cried. Soon Emily was puffing down the open line. She was enjoying herself mostly, but Annie and Clarabelle were still cross. How dare he say we'll do, how dare he say we'll do, they grumbled. Soon Emily saw Thomas puffing past with a goods train. Hello Thomas, she called, but Thomas was cross. Those are my coaches, he cried, give them back. But Emily didn't hear Thomas, she went on her way. She was rather confused though, I wonder what his problem was. Then Emily passed Edward, he was so taken aback by seeing Annie and Clara behind her, he forgot to whistle hello. Then she saw James, who gave her a dirty look when he noticed Annie and Clarabelle. He didn't whistle back either. Emily couldn't understand why they were being so unfriendly. She felt very upset. Later, Thomas returned to the yards. He spoke to the fat controller about Emily. He hoped Emily would be in trouble. However, then I'm afraid you'll have to take all the coaches for today. Are the coaches? cried Thomas. But sir! Really useful engines, George argue, said the fat controller. So Thomas didn't. He headed off to collect some other coaches. They were much older than Annie and Clarabelle, and weren't his chassis. He tried to sing to them, but they didn't join in. Thomas felt very sad. He wanted Annie and Clarabelle back. Later, Emily returned to the carriage sidings. Henry was there collecting a train of trucks. Hello there, he smiled. Then he looked behind Emily's tender, and noticed Annie and Clarabelle. Um, what are you doing with Thomas's coaches? So that's why he was cross, exclaimed Emily. Thank you for telling me. I must go and apologise. And she hurried away. Emily searched all around the yards, and even in the big station, but she couldn't find Thomas anywhere, so she decided to look down the loop line. Presently she approached a signal box, where the signalman flagged her down. Henry hasn't cleared the next signal box, he told Emily's driver. Please go see what's wrong. So Emily carefully headed down the line. Emily could see that Henry had broken down on a crossing that ran over Thomas's branch. Then Emily heard Thomas's whistle. Oh dear, she cried. Thomas was steaming along with his passenger train, grumbling as he went. Don't want you coaches, don't want you coaches. He then looked up and gasped. He could see Henry standing on the crossing, and he knew he could never stop in time. Oh help, cried Henry in fright. Emily charged forwards towards Henry, and with a huge effort, she pushed him across the tracks and out of the way, just in time. Henry sighed in relief. Thanks, he smiled. 
Oh, no problem, panted Emily. She was rather shaken. That night, the fat controller praised Emily. Well, John, you were a very brave engine. The bravest, chuffed Henry. Emily smiled happily and looked over to Thomas. Thomas, I'm sorry I took Annie and Clarabelle, she said. And I'm sorry I was cross. I was just being silly, apologised Thomas. Friends? Friends, smiled Emily. <laughs>